Hi, and welcome back to another episode of the History of Fan Anime. I'm your host, William Chow, and today's episode, I'm going to go over some classical musical jingles that we only really remember the hook for, okay? And I'll tell you what I mean by that, because, you know, we always get that, you know, that uh, thought where you get the song sort of stuck in your head, and of course, uh, with things like uh, Japanese animation music, um, you know, the, the, the song uh, is pretty, you know, particularly uh, notable, um, because the fact that we, we only re remember, um, you know, the English part of the song, right? So because, uh, you know, and uh, this is sort of a phenomenon that is, uh, you know, not as common in, in, modern, uh, in modern music. So before I begin, again, I want to remind everyone to go down below, click like, and click subscribe, because obviously um, uh, YouTube doesn't, uh, you know, recommend my videos and that kind of stuff, so, you know, you, you know they'll you know, have to actually, um, you know, put the comments on that, and then I'll obviously well, notifications on, so that way, uh, when I put new videos out, then you, you get notified uh, when I get those out, okay? Um, but I also do have a, you know, and I'm still working on the the uh, um, history of my anime in sort of database book format, so that again, uh, you know, when if you're looking for other episodes, you know, say, for example, like uh, more episodes about music or CD reviews, you can go right to that chapter and you can see all the different sort of music and songs that I recommend and, and listen to and that kind of stuff. So, go we'll go check that out, okay? Uh, link is below. All right, so, um, today's topic, again, is, is, is music, all right? And, um, and you know, basically, uh, you know, we get that sort of comment where, you know, you, you hear a song and you get sort of, you know, hooked on it because you like a particular jingle or a particular sort of hook that they have in it. Um, now this is particularly specific, uh, is a notable in early Japanese animation is because a lot of the songs um, and a lot of everything I guess at this time um, had no translation, okay? So uh, a lot of these TV shows and that kind of stuff we're watching, a lot of the, um, you know, the, the movies and that kind of stuff, when we watch it, we, you know, you'll hear the opening theme song or the ending theme song or something like that. And say, hey, that's pretty good. You know, they, they all, it has a nice beat, or you know, they, you know, part of the chorus you like, or whatever. Um, um, you know, you you kind of cat, you sort of gravitate towards, and but you don't know what the translation ends up being, so you don't know what you're listening to, um, and so a lot of times, um, the part of the song that really catches you or really catches your attention is anything that's written in English. And again, this is at a time where. Um, you know the Japanese, uh, you know, obviously are not making any Japanese animation. Are not trying, you, know, you know, they're not purposely trying to put English stuff into the, uh, you know, to the anime because you know they're not, they're not catering it to us in any way. But it's kind of, you know, it kind of was the cool thing to do that you know to insert English lines and English lyrics uh, into their songs, right? And so in this day's episode, I've got a small sack of you know, CD, uh, CDs. Um, when I was listening to an old audio cassette, you know, like I used to, you know, have all my you know favorite songs and that kind of stuff mixed and put onto an audio cassette, and then we used to use a, a cassette uh, disc, you know, a cassette Walkman or something like that to listen to my old, uh, you know, you know, tape mixes as it were. And so I was going through and listening, you know, checking one of my old cassettes out, and I realized, you know, I remember when I was listening to this, you know, I remember saying, you know, thinking, oh yeah, this is a, you know, I remember this song. And but the problem is when you go to hum it or you know, sing the song, you only really knew the English part of the song. So you'd kind of you know say the you know the one part that you'd know, and you'd kind of have to kind of hum and kind of you know uh, kind of murmur the rest of it because you don't really remember what it is and and you don't really know what it is. And of course you know this is again at a time where I was just going to university. Um, and I didn't take Japanese 100 until my second year, so um, you know I really didn't have a you know a clear grasp of of, of how Japanese phonetics and that kind of work or romanization. Um, there wasn't like yet yeah, there wasn't really quote the internet as it was for uh, for you to go and look up what the you know translations and or and even the romanization of a particular song was. So you, you, you I couldn't even do that, right? So again. Um, you know, I guess that the, you know the, the main significance, and especially at this time, was that you really gravitated and you really, you know, really liked those songs that had English hook. So again, I got a small stack of CDs here, and I'll just sort of go through them and then sort of you know, uh, kind of uh, go over uh, what part of the, you know, the songs and what part of the bits that uh, you were interested in. Okay, so 
Um, we'll go back to the, 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 the like stack here. Okay, so the first CD I have is uh, the uh, is the Dragon Ball CD, uh, CD, the Dragon Ball song. Okay, now um, this is obviously particular you know, notable because it's a you know. I remember we just started getting uh, Dragon Ball episodes and uh, um, when it uh, was on TV and it was mixed in with uh, I remember getting going down to the grocery store the Japanese grocery store and getting like random episodes of Dragon Ball and of course you know it had a you know, particular good opening theme song and but the only part that you really got you know noted out in the Dragon Ball song is the you know, cha la head cha la part of the song, right? So you know, you know, you know that you know, that the part um, really stuck out, and that's all you sort of really remembered from it, you know, because you know um, that part stuck out. And again, there's not very much else that's English um, it, it, that's really in the song, except maybe the odd word like sparkling or something like that. Um, but uh, yeah, other than that, yeah, yeah, that, that one sort of really, you know. Yeah. So again, whenever you sort of hear that song and you're gonna, you know, sing it or anything like that, or you hum to it, that part you'll kind of go out, uh, you, know, you know, like notably saying uh, in that, right? Because the next part of it, uh, you know, you kind of, you know, <laughs> don't really know. So that's one example. Okay. The next one I have is is another really very, very, very popular series. It is called Saint Seiya. Now again, you know Saint Seiya. Obviously, you know, it, you know has the right in the title at the beginning, the start of that show, and it goes. Uh, you know, obviously Saint Seiya. You know, the main th uh, opening theme song is Pegasus Fantasy, and again, you know, the, the you, know, you didn't have to name it that way, but again, right in the middle of the, you know, the song, you know, you you know the line, you know, Pegasus is Fantasy, and then a you may not, and so. Uh, you know, at that time, you know, th that's the main line that you'd, you'd memorize and you'd know because that's because, you know, th th that actually has the title of the song in it, other than the you know, fact that they say Saint Seiya, yeah, right? Um, there's virtually no other English words in that entire whole song, right? So, okay. So, another one of the, you know, one of my personal favorite ones is uh, for this series, okay? This is Dan Cougar, okay? Now, I remember when hearing that song, um, I really enjoyed the opening theme song for this one because it, it was a slightly different, well, I mean, the, just, just the way that the, the female vocalist sounded on this thing. It was, it, was, it, was a, it was a different kind of pitch and a different kind of sound uh, that the female vocalist was singing, right? But, you know, I always remember, you know, I e no you know, far away, okay? Um, and then, of course, you know, you know, you, you know, it's the song that you hear, and, uh, you know, that right at the very beginning, you know, Thing. okay yeah and then you know and that's the only part of the course that I, I ever, ever you know ever remembered on on, on the kick of that one there of course and, and the, of course the, uh, the the last part of the, the, the course was just, was just far away so I've heard a lot of songs where, you, where I listen to and I only really know that one little part of the song okay okay now this one's a little bit more obscure for a lot of you people. Um, this is for an anime called Metal uh, Armored J Dragonar. Okay, so this is a, that that in between series between Zeta Gundam and uh, Double Zeta Gundam when they weren't quite finished making the Double Zeta Gundam, and so they decided, okay, let's stick this new series called Dragonar in there, which everyone thought was well, it was pretty much a Gundam. <laughs> anyway, so, um, but yeah, this one had a really nice uh, epic um, um, for, uh, opening theme song, right? Uh, which, uh, you know, yeah, um, uh, has a nice little, you know, I, I guess that, the background singer, um, you, know, you, know, you, you have different lines in there, um, you can see it all, you see, in the beginning of the song, you hear this almost, you know, you gotta catch me, and, uh, and also the, uh, in, in the, um, uh, and, uh, also, you know, in the end of the, the main chorus, you know, uh, in the, you know, I love you, right? Um, in it. Uh, again, so they, they, that was sort of one of the memorable parts of the course that, uh, that happens in that particular song. So it's that was really nice. Okay. Another one of my early favorites is uh, this anime called SPT Laser. Okay. And um, 
and both you know the uh, you know, first and second season of Legion uses the same theme anyway. But uh, you know, but um, uh, you know the, the the main chorus of course has the word lonely way, you know, and then whatever da, 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 lonely way, and so you know again get that one little part of the of the of the song is what you basically gravitate to. And uh, that's what uh, you sort of remember the most. Okay, so again, that's another one of those animes that that that, that uh, you know particularly you know particularly had a catch line that, that that I particularly liked. Okay, okay. All right, the next one. Okay, you may notice that like, I'm picking a lot of sunrise tiles here, but you know, <laughs> but you know, th- again, this is what the you know the 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 the, the, the focus was uh, at this particular time, right? So. Um, uh, the next one I got here is uh, for Heavy Metal L Guy, okay? Um, but yeah, this one had a, a lot, because you know, remember when the chorus began, it goes to me, and it goes, Show me the way to you, lead me the way you are, right? And then, you know, so, and then of course, you know, the course, I mean, the end of the course was, you know, L Guy is the end of the world, L Guy on the end, right? So, a lot of you know that one was a particular one that had more to it um which uh you know which i really liked um in that particular song there so yeah that's one of the ones that i mixed in really good okay uh yeah of course uh you know in this main conversation i wouldn't be saying anything if it wasn't for orange road and again orange road's one of those ones that was rather special um because uh you know uh it's wasn't one of those, shall I say, mainstream animes that, that that came out, but it was uh, you know really nice because it had um, you know some you know, some really nice music, a nice anime, and a very good story for that uh, for that time. And it was in a really tough position uh, where it was. Okay, but again, same sort of thing. The first opening theme song, um, uh, you know, has you know night on the summer, the summer sun. Okay? Um, but that's all that you would really know, right? <laughs> And even with uh, you know some of the uh, you know even the the second uh, opening theme song, for example, um, you know by uh, uh, Kanaka Wada, um, you know she would always uh, uh, you know on certain lines, for example, the end of the first line, she goes you know happy end is one of the end of the, one of the um, uh, you know to the closings of the first verse. Um, you know she'll sing that, and again that's you know that, that you know, goes on before she gets her next line there so uh in the chorus uh so but happy end is another one of the ones that ends that particular um verse right so that uh so orange Road came up with a lot of nice music for that uh, um uh, uh dance in the sweet memories of course uh, is, uh, you know, the ending theme song on, on the third season uh you know that was another you know, very common song that i picked out that uh, you know, because I you know, the, I like the course so much on that particular one. Okay, and the last one I want to select out here um, uh, is uh, Double Zeta Gundam. Now it's not just uh, you know um, uh, the one I did pick is, is not going to be just Anime Genai because Anime Genai at the time you know, obviously was the opening theme song, and um, you know it, it was it was particularly about anime. But the one that I was I'm going to make a mention of is Silent Voice. Okay? <laughs> The second season, and again, um, um, because it, you know, you, you, you know, they, they very clearly says, you know, silent voice, silent eyes. Okay, um, those would be the two, um, you know, beginnings of the choruses, right? Um, you know, that part, uh, you know, I, you know, I rem- you know, remember a lot, uh, very well. Uh, Unfortunately, the rest of the other parts of the song I don't know really so well, but that's okay because you know at the time that's what you listen for, um, and then of course you know uh, when you go and repeat the you know the, the verses and that kind of stuff that's the you know the, the, the one that uh, I gravitate to. Okay, so this is sort of like a you know a, a short co- uh, you know sort of collection of different songs and that kind of stuff. Uh, you know when I was listening to the you know to this uh, old cassette of mine, um, you know what really uh, you know gravitated and what to re- uh, I really liked about uh you know these classical animes and that kind of stuff so again you know if you haven't had a chance to listen to these by all means go back and uh and look at these all uh, look these songs up and uh maybe get a little bit of nostalgia and maybe you can fall in love with a hook like i did okay and again these a lot of these songs are 
um, I said kind of special because it, it, they're in that era where you where you don't really know what you're listening to, but you like it enough that you're willing to listen to it and, and, and look at it, right? Because now nowadays, you know, when you see animes and that kind of stuff, all the opening lyrics are already translated and subtitled for you, and well, some of them even karaokeized for for you. Um, so you don't. So that mystery's not there. You you know what it is, and um, if you're the one that tends to listen to a lot of dubs, you know um, a whole bunch of different musics and that kind of stuff. You know, for example, like Lotus Wars and that kind of stuff uh, can be dubbed in English, so you don't actually even need to know what the original Japanese was, uh, what sounded like, and whatnot. Okay. So I hope you found this episode quite interesting. And again, if you had a chance to, you know, to, to try out and look at some of these songs, that you know, that'd be great. Uh, you know, give yourself something to, you know to, to, to listen to and uh, and uh, you know maybe add to your playlist, okay? And then uh, yeah, maybe in the future uh, get another episode where I'll actually go through my own playlist and then you, you know you, you can see what I have uh, my selections that I've made in my playlist and then maybe uh, that will give you some suggestions to add to yours, okay? So until next time, see you again.